As if CM Punk hasn't broken the internet multiple times over the last two weeks, he decided to do it again today at the UFC 181 pay-per-view where he decided to go on there with Dana White, the founder of the UFC, and announce to the world that he has signed a contract, a fighting contract, with the UFC and will be making his debut for the promotion in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, it is December the 6th, 2014, as of this recording. Of course, this will be up on the 7th, so you will see the 7th, but this is being recorded on the 6th, trust me. Meaning, it is only a matter of time before we see CM Punk fighting inside the octagon. Now, let me preface my comments, let me preface my entire soliloquy, if you may say, by saying that I am a CM Punk fan, and if you don't believe me, you guys can go back on my older videos and check those out because I am a CM Punk fan. I want to I want to preface my comments by saying that I don't want to come off sounding like I'm bashing him or count, coming off like I'm I'm pissed off because I'm really not. But here's my comments on the matter. Maybe maybe you guys can kind of relate to me on this. I think I have a couple main points I want to bring up before I, you know, really close this off. And I don't, really, I don't really want to take up a whole lot of your guys' time here. There are two main people, two main benefactors in this category that really benefit from this signing. Of course, CM Punk does. He gets the money. He gets television, all that crap. Well, not television. You guys get what I mean. He's on pay-per-view. He's on all sorts of stuff. His face is on merchandise now is basically what I'm saying. He's going to be getting merchandise from the UFC and all that stuff. The UFC benefits from this. And that was my second thing that I wanted to bring up. The UFC benefits from this. Hey, let's grab the hottest free agent coming off the sport of professional wrestling who gave his word that will not be coming back to the sport of professional wrestling. And let's exploit it that we got him on national television slash live television pay-per-view let's exploit the fact that we got him and i'm sure triple h and vince heard about this and i'm sure they're pissed off right now i'm sure they're flipping shit right now and i i i'm i'm 100 sure of it and if they didn't get it i tweeted it at them so i'm sure they're gonna read that sooner or later if they didn't find it out by now but those are the two main people that really benefit from this but the one person that kind of detracts and kind of gets the low end here. CM Punk himself, granted, he does benefit, and he does kind of, he doesn't benefit, I'm, I'm saying, you know, I, I, the word's not coming to my head right now, he doesn't benefit from this. Punk is not, he does not have a whole lot of experience in the, 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 the sport of mixed martial arts. Now, of course, he's trained with it, he, he knows the jujitsu and the, and all that stuff, and all that stuff. He's an MMA fighter. I understand this. But the UFC is the most elite fighting organization on the planet. You know? So, his dream job is involving getting punched in the face by the best fighters on the planet. I, granted, I'm going to give him the best of luck and all that stuff. I'm definitely going to wish him luck and everything like that. I'm not going to I respect the fact that he's getting in there, but I don't think he's going to last. I think this is the this is one thing that he signed up for that he can't walk out on. And I'm not I'm not trying to make fun of the fact that this was the big rumor going on was the fact that he walked out on WWE. That was the big that was the big gag going on in the wrestling community he walked out and I'm not trying to point that out, but this is one thing that he cannot walk out of. He cannot walk out of this. He can't. He has to accept his quote-unquote new career. And I'm worried that he's going to get his ass kicked. He's going to get his ass kicked. The UFC and the WWE are two completely different things. Granted, WWE does not want to acknowledge the UFC as a legit competition, but that does not separate the fact that they are still competition. They still gain viewership. They still get sponsors and all this stuff. There are, there's competition between UFC and the WWE. And granted, if CM Punk decides to step into the middleweight division with Chris White or Chris Weedman and and Anderson Silva and and Vitor Belfort and all these guys, then granted, more power to him if he wants to step into the middleweight the 
the uh, welterweight division with with uh, Johnny Hendricks and all of them. More power to him. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try bashing him, but I'm just saying it's not a very good idea. You went on Colt Cabana's podcast and said that Ryback took 20 years off your career and da 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 da. da. But you the the main thing that you said, and this is the thing I'm gonna keep going back to. The main thing you said on his podcast was the reason you walked that you you left the company. I'm just gonna say you left, you walked out, was because of your health. Okay, that's fine. This was a week ago I heard this. Now a week later, you decide to sign up for the most for one of the most dangerous dangerous organizations on this planet. And expect that, the, and, and you don't think this is going to get any harder. You don't think it's going to get any harder on your body now. Granted, you're getting to work less, but at the same time, this is not professional wrestling. This is not a, this is not, you know, a 15 minute match where you get a couple rest holds in between. Or if you're working a tag match, you can't sit on the side, you know, can't sit on the apron and let your opponent or let your partner kind of get his ass whooped and all that stuff. That's not how it works in the UFC. You can't leave the ring to take a breather in the first, you know, couple seconds of the match, you know, kind of get generate some heat. You can't do that. And I'm hoping that I'm hoping this all sets in for Punk because like I've been like I said, like I'm trying to say this entire video, this is one thing he cannot walk out of. This is something this is huge is what I'm saying. This is huge. Granted, this is internet news and all this stuff. Oh, CM Punk took a shit this morning, and that's news. But this is something that he cannot walk out of, or he will legit look like a pussy. He will look like a wimp. He will look like a, a halfwit who couldn't make it in the UFC. And hell, Brock lived by those words, and look where the hell he's at right now. He's one of the most dangerous men on the damn planet, and look what happened, you know? So... What do you guys think about this? This is that's that's the main thing. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Personally, I think it's a dangerous decision for CM Punk. I don't think it's a good decision for CM Punk, but I'm not going to hate on him for making it. Of course, the man needs the money. Of course, the man needs all this stuff. He needs to afford his house and his you know food and all this shit. I understand this. So apparently, writing comics didn't you know I I guess that doesn't generate a whole lot of money, but. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think this is a good idea? Do you guys think this is a bad idea? What do you guys think about this? Who do you guys think is, is Punk going to be fighting in his debut? And to be honest, when when I see Brooks versus Weedman on the uh, on the on the title for UFC two seventeen or something like that. I'll have my money ready. So what do you guys think about that? Down in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think about the matter. And until next time, this is Perry the Entertainer signing out. Peace. Make sure you guys subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you. Peace. Death.